very good afternoon to you. It's Gene from Avstar. Guys, if you're interested, I'll tell you what I know. And I, I will do my best to explain things in a very brief and short video. Um, before I do, you know something's gone horribly wrong with our system. You know, people facing the living crisis, you know, the cost of living crisis across the world. This is a pandemic that they're not talking about on mainstream media because they don't want to cause panic. And I think I know why it's happening. Before we go any further, guys, we're, we are going for a magnetic reversal. You know, there's even the mainstream organizations will tell you that. They're not going to tell you that the world's going to come to an end. And I can't say that for sure anyway, because no one can. Because the last time this planet went for a magnetic reversal, none of us was here and technology wasn't there to record what took place at that time. So, you know, I'm just laying my cards down on the table and I'm gonna tell you what I know. We are going for a magnetic reversal. We know what the implications are if the magnetosphere collapses during that reversal and that is likely to happen because it's weakening right now as we speak. It is probably 20 to 25% less than what it should be and this has happened over a period of time of 50 years and is increasingly, as time goes on, getting worse. That's one problem that leads to a lot of other things down the chain of line, you know, with climate, you know, with the jet streams, with the added um, cosmic rays in the upper atmosphere causing cancer across the range of all biodiversity, across all ranges. That's that set aside that is happening. You can check with anyone you want, any professor or any university, they will say, yes, this is taking place. And no, we don't have no evidence of what could possibly lead out of this other than what we know so far. And that is exactly what I tell you when I do the pulse shift updates. Setting that aside, it isn't the magnetic poles that are causing the cost of living crisis in the USA and in the UK, and in Ireland, and in Europe, and in Canada, and in Australia. I'll tell you what's causing it. We've all ran out of gold. I'm not kidding you. We're all broke. We've got no viable physical assets. We've got no currency left. Now this is what ended empires before. It's gonna do it this time. The only thing is, with what we've managed to achieve over the last 30 years, now this is going back since the Bretton Woods agreements sometime in the mid-19th century, you can look it up for yourselves, you will find that you know countries were running out of gold, everything was going to come to a massive seize and stop with you know, the um, communities and the states of America, everywhere. It was all gonna come to a horrible end. And then they came up with, let's print up cash and put a promise to pay the bearer on it. And now the problem is, those countries around the world that have been collecting up gold are no longer interested in the promise because it doesn't hold its um, promise. It just doesn't, uh, it doesn't hold it. And what I'm telling you now is what I've spent years trying to figure out what's, what has actually caused these problems. What's caused them is we've run out of gold and now we have this funny money, monopoly money it might as well be, with a promise on it that is not being upheld. And none of these other countries that have the gold are willing to do business with us. And that's why you're seeing the BRICS nations set up. They don't want our, our funny money anymore. And America... You know what, I love my brothers and sisters over the pond. You know what, I really do. But I've got to say, you guys are the biggest, you know, causes of this problem. You know, nobody wants uh, the dollar anymore. It's all coming back to the coast of the United States. What other countries are holding in their uh, reserve currencies, they don't want the dollar. What they want is physical assets, physical wealth, i.e., gold, silver, copper, valuable metals. You know what I'm saying is, is this is gonna get a lot more worse than what you think. And um, in the end, if you don't have gold, 
you ain't going to be able to trade unless you've got a skill that somebody wants or you know a physical asset that somebody wants but you know our system is crashing rapidly our country's bankrupt look at the debt to gdp ratios and it's only going to get worse and that means the cost of living crisis is going to get worse and i think you're like me you know you're at your limit with it you know you've you've seen enough and this is taking the piss and you're no longer prepared you know to put up with it well we're starting to see it here in the uk uh a few months well a month or so ago there was a crisis that took place but on the back of that crisis people used that as an excuse to vent their anger and um you know i've spoke to a lot of people about this and we're all in agreement on one thing this was not solely due to those poor souls god rest them you know um you know those three little girls that got killed by that monster and you know the others got got seriously injured by him it wasn't about that the people have had enough in this country you know we are on the verge of civil unrest and you know what they're doing today they're letting people out of prison that have served two sentences two parts of their sentence because there is no longer any room in prison for anyone else and the justice system has got seized up that means that the police can't make any more arrests and charge people with crimes because the courts can't deal with the backlog that they've got already and there isn't you know for the most serious offenders there is no room in the jails for them so they're letting out you know um thousands of prisoners right now as we speak see Keir Starmer our prime minister right there he's a thief you know he's accumulated wealth the times say 10 billion uh, sorry 10 million but you know in realistic terms it's about 7.7 .7 million why would somebody who is a millionaire want to take a job that pays maximum for being a party leader 160,000 pound a year it's because he is waxing himself richer the more he is and he's allowing his buddies to do the same now um uh, Kamala Harris uh, I mean everyone gets her fucking name wrong don't they Kamala is it Kamala or Kamala what, whatever all right she said it in a in a speech that I was watching her make the other day that the reason why they've created you know uh, co2 and everything else uh, related green energies like wind turbines and solar panel is because it creates jobs in order to make a wind turbine that needs people that can weld pipes do electronics do electric you know electrical work you know uh, logistics are obviously involved transporting it to the site there's construction work building the foundations it employs a lot of people why are they doing it it's to keep people in work but is is what's going to happen right they've created a false industry just to keep the wheels turning slowly but here's the problem they've got a cost of living crisis on the hands that means that the GDP is gonna become less and less that the country raises because there are less and less people in employment earning money that can't pay the government taxes so the GDP is going to shrink that means I'll our debt that we've got at the moment is going to get even worse and this is going to explode and i don't i can't put a, a time or a day on it because i just don't know what what little tricks they're going to do to tweak things to just prevent it a little bit longer from happening but they will i guarantee you that they will do it but that's what's going on in short you know if you want to take something out from this video yes we are going through a magnetic reversal. I'll do the best I possibly can to keep you informed on that. That is our primary objective here. But you know what? You know, I am just like you 
in another aspect concerned about the cost of living crisis in our countries and the bad management and you know obviously we know now why they are putting pressure on the public you know with you know controlling the freedom of information the freedom of speech and all that we know why it is it's because they're skinned they've got no physical assets our countries are bankrupt and our wealth has gone to you know the southern hemisphere of our planet countries like china who are hoarding gold now we've got good armies at the moment obviously you know over the years the uk's military force has shrank but in terms of technology you know we're, we're state of the art that's for sure you know for a little country like ours we've got two aircraft carriers okay they're broke both of them are bust at the moment and both of them have got diesel engines and the chinese know exactly when the british are starting up their aircraft carriers and they can track us by the noise that them engines make as those busted and ill um equipped aircraft carriers it's a joke it really is guys we've got two aircraft carriers but we've only got 10 f-35s between the two of them can you believe that and they've got the capacity to hold 40 but between two aircraft carriers we've got 10 f-35s it's ridiculous our trident missiles don't work you know if we've got to go to war tomorrow we've, we're done yeah we've got technology but we ain't got the crews to man it that's for sure the, the navy can't you know um get the staff to run these vessels we're just in a real real bad state and every other dynamic that you look at right now and you know I'd, you know if you ask me what caused it, it was the Bretton woods back in the late 1900s that changed it from the gold standard to the standard that it is we would have been bankrupt then but we've just avoided the inevitable and now we're going to put now we've got it to come and uh, of course what is what is our government's doing just opening the borders and allowing this fresh labor to come in that will work for under minimum wage salaries so there's a reliance on slavery clearly and crime is going through the roof and that's why you know our prisons in this country the uk are over capacity the other day they said on the news mainstream media that they only had a hundred more placements for prisoners in this country think about that what sort of country has overridden its prison capability well you know what what causes that to start with is what you need to think about these are, aren't the people that are in prison aren't all murderers some are in there for not paying the tv license some are in there for not paying the council tax some are in there you know because they couldn't pay the bills and they was took to court and bankrupted by companies you know they're not all criminals not hardened criminals not murderers not rapists what does that say about a country that has overcapacified their prison system it says everything but the bottom line is we've got no physical assets in this country we've just got services and nobody wants them nobody wants our services and we've created false industries on the back of green policies and most likely your country has as well and bad policies like you know preventing co2 and trying to take the vehicles off the road the combustion engine vehicles off the road when you know not putting something in place where some you know people can readily swap over like you know an affordable ev you know no one's got 80 grand to fork out on a you know a tesla and you know here we are in the cost of living crisis and they're spending all this money the governments are on this bogus industry 
of green policies like building wind turbines and solar power generation and it's costing us three times more than what it would do if we burnt natural gas and oil and coal no i'm just going to say this they're about to pay the price of their negligence and their corruption and you know what i just say to you guys out there you know if you've listened to this video to this point you know something's wrong you can feel it in your gut so you know you have to do something at this point to protect yourselves because I guarantee you one thing it's just going to get worse from here on out and that is all I've got to share to you, to you guys you know nothing else you know be be twice as shrewd as the fox because there's a time coming which is a very ugly time and none of you know what I wish I could say that you'll avoid it but you won't if you're in the western countries it's got to be had and that's all there is to it you know what take care link down there if you want to help support us what we do at the observatory you know we do it for you guys and you know the only other thing to say is you know god be with you as always bye for now